Pew! 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 How are we doing guys? Broken Machine here. Hope you guys are all doing good today and welcome to a new video. We will talk about that finger gun in a moment, but also today we will be looking at the dome, a new location in Firestorm, new skins in Firestorm, that new gun, the S2200, which is an absolute beast by the way, and of course the new map, Al Sundan. So first things first, if you want to have a go at this new easter egg in Battlefield 5, you want to head over to Conquest on Hamada, head over to this section of the map here, you'll see this little device. Unfortunately, if it lights up red, sadly you'll have to find a new server. However, if it lights up green, do follow the direction it's pointing in and eventually you'll find a dig site like this. Whip out your tool, keep on digging and you'll unlock the finger gun. Sadly, if you do die, it disappears and there's no way of getting it again. In this server, you'll have to find a new one. It's a little bit of fun. I like it. I, f I do actually enjoy Easter eggs like this. Uh, sadly, as of making this video, I haven't actually got any kills with it. I actually spent an hour going through different server to server, getting red light after red light, and then finally, finally, I managed to get it. It took a little while to figure out where the dig site was, but uh, we got it in the end. So, if you guys managed to uh, unlock this and get a kill streak, do send it in. I'm sure someone at some point is going to get a beastly kill streak for this. It's a little bit of fun. I like it. Nice one, dice. Next up, we got the new gun, the S2200. Very easy to unlock this one. Just go to the Tides of War on the main page. Have a look there. I got it in, I think it's under an hour. Pretty simple and straightforward. There is one requirement here where I would actually recommend jumping on an AA gun on a map like Fiel and just blasting at the planes. Honestly, I did this in under an hour. It was super easy. So, as you all know, I'm not a big fan of the MMGs. We just added the BGO to Firestorm. A little bit too powerful, in my opinion. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, just look at that. That is just ridiculous. There is other new LMGs. The LS2 in Firestorm, by the way. Just, uh, just to let you know, there is some new stuff in Firestorm. Do go check it out. Uh, but this S2200, with this specialization setup here in particular, is so much fun. It really is. You know, I'm not sat on my belly all the time. I was rushing around, and there is just something fun about it. It's obviously going to get a nerf, so enjoy it while it lasts. But uh, I don't know. If you guys watched that video yesterday, I highly recommend you do. I was enjoying the game and laughing and just, I don't know, it felt like BF1 again. Honestly, it did. It felt like there was so much fun just going on. So I'm actually happy about it. It was like justice, you know, justice for all these times, all these bipods are on the floor, all these snipers, and I'm just running around absolutely wrecking them. I mean, just check this. For the full video, do go check out my channel down below. Anyway, so I'm pretty happy about that. You can unlock it pretty easily and it's got some nice skins as well. So also, we got to test out the new map Al Sundan on Squad Conquest and Team Deathmatch at the moment. Unfortunately, as I say unfortunately because in my opinion, this map played so much more, just so much better and more enjoyable on Conquest. Sadly, you guys can't play this on Conquest. I managed to play it at EA Play in Los Angeles a few weeks or so back. And obviously it wasn't a public lobby, so I couldn't get a full feel of the game. But for me personally, it played so much more, just, just more interesting, so much better. Um, Squad Conquest, it's okay. Team Deathmatch, it's okay. But I don't know. I had some fun moments. It was nice flanking. It kind of felt like Suez from BF1 in a way. But I don't know. Maybe it's just the modes. Squad Conquest and Team Deathmatch just don't really do it for me in this game. You know, I'd love a Team Deathmatch like BF3, Nosh Air Canals, or just BF3 in general. For me, Team Deathmatch in BF5, I just don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Something about the flow. Anyway, I hope you guys do check out this map. It is it is definitely um, an interesting one. It's got potential, just for me, in its current state on these two uh, particular modes. It's just not my cup of tea, but I'm sure it will be for a lot of players. 
Definitely looking forward to seeing this on Breakthrough though. The, uh, the vehicle and infantry combat, that could be nasty. That could be really interesting. Also in the recent update, we got the new dome location in Firestorm and man, this is a nasty place to be in. Just, just look at this. Just look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we doing this? Hell yeah, we're doing this. Oh my god. Please be a gun, please be a gun. Oh my god, that is insanity in there. Holy crap. Absolutely brutal. Hi. Oh, I had so much fun playing this on stream. I do stream on uh, YouTube and Twitch, by the way. If you don't know, I do stream almost every day and we do late streams on Twitch as well. Lots of Firestorm over there as well. Um, but yeah, the dome. Exciting new location. Really tricky to survive in this one. It's not like uh, it's not like other BRs where if you get a good start, you'll be on your way. Man, if you run out of armor plates, it is absolutely brutal inside of here. I did try to drop a V1 inside the uh, center, but sadly, it missed. It landed on the roof. Maybe next time. Anyway, there is also new skins in Firestorm. They look pretty nasty. Uh, you just have to go to your armory or multiplayer and just, uh, you know, select the skins you want to use. And when you go into Firestorm, if you pick up the same weapon, it will have your skins on it. I like it. I do wish you could actually customize it a little bit more in a separate menu away from the armory, you know, have separate Firestorm skins. But for now, it is pretty awesome. Anyway, so yeah, Firestorm is looking pretty good. Loving this new update, a nice new location, much better than the uh, dig site. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I wasn't too happy about that, but it's good to see it's transformed into the dome. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new weapon. Do you think it's too powerful? Does it need a nerf? Do you think it's balanced? Are you having fun with it? Honestly, do check out my gameplay with it. I, I, just, I was just on beast mode, having a laugh really enjoying it and you know i would highly recommend you try to play in that aggressive kind of play style and run and gun it was it was so much fun but yeah i'm happy about this update a little bit annoyed about uh, little things like the uh, you know invisible players that's a little bit annoying for me the stuttering has been fixed apart from when uh, you're completing some assignments it does seem to stutter now and then but uh, i can actually play ps4 and xbox once again without it constantly stuttering I do have some issues with the time to kill and time to death still. That does not feel good. There is definitely, in my opinion, something that's not quite right. Uh, some kind of inconsistency that uh, was definitely not in Battlefield 1. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave you with uh, a little bit of Firestorm gameplay here. Hope you guys enjoy it. Do let me know your thoughts down below. And we will be back with the top plays tomorrow. So do get your clips sent in. Link is down below in the description. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. Probably up top. I would have seen him. Guy behind me? What the hell? Where? Where the frick was that? Please tell me these guys aren't teaming. I'm confused. Really? Please don't get me killed from that. Alright, he's in the corner there. Yeah, I see him now. Oh. 
Unlucky, dudes. GG's.